Hey guys, 65 here. I'm going to show you guys what the inside of an automotive AC compressor looks like. There's several different types. Here's one of them. Um, thought you guys might like to see. I'll go over real quick. Okay, I pre moved some parts to make it quicker. You can see. Um, first, I had to first we start out at the uh, the clutch, and there was just a single bolt in the middle, and then the electric crutch plate comes off. Easy enough, that just pulled right out of the center. It was under no force. But then there was a snap ring. And then this is where your main bearing is. Uh, I'm pulling off this too, that doesn't come off yet. It wants to come off. And this is where your main bearing rides. So if your, your clutch bearing goes bad and it's making a lot of noise, it's this bearing right here and you need to take that off and you need to take this bearing out. Um, it's pressed in. So, that's your clutch. Here's your electromagnet right here, and this is what energizes the clutch and makes it become magnetic. And it's just a single wire, and then it's grounded, and this will become a super, super strong magnet. And down in there, there was another snap ring, but I don't think I needed to remove it. It holds in like a seal. But then there are six bolts. So upon removal of the bolts, you can remove the back and the front plate. Nothing. You notice that it is broken. That's why this one's being disassembled. So it got dropped. This is the discharge. This is where it sucks in. This is where it discharges. We can remove the... Just a washer. Well, washer or gasket. It's made out of pretty stiff, fibrous material. And then we'll have our reed valve plate. Under each one of these little things is a reed valve. There we go. And then there's a reed valve plate right here. It probably comes off as well. There we go. And then you have pistons. Three pistons. This is actually a six piston, technically, because there's three pistons on the other side. But anyway, when this piston goes down, um, you'll see that the reed valve, like the tip of this one, covers up this hole so it'll suck free on in, and then it'll discharge it out this one, but this little metal plate just keeps it from opening too much and snapping off, and so does this little, this little recess right there, keeps this from um, opening too far and snapping off. There's that plate. Same thing. So we got our front side. Gasket. Reed valve plate. And three more pistons. How's that spin that goes up? But while this one's going down, it's pushing this one up. They're directly related, every single one of these. So, there is a plate in the middle that's going to, um, I believe it's called a swash plate, but it's going to be at an angle and be, and be rotating in there, in eccentric or something to that effect. So let's, let's snap it in half. There we go. All the piston, uh, pistons are going to come out. There we go. And there is our centric plate there we go there's the bottom and then we got our three pistons that just ride up and down as this rotates that's the basics so Take one of these little pistons off. And you just have a ball with a little cup. That ball just popped out and that's just a ball bearing. One on each side, get there. 
There you go, guys. Just a quick video on what's inside an automotive AC compressor. Um, there's, I think there's three different types. This is one of them. Um, hope you guys enjoy. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And um, thumbs up, thumbs down. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Bye.